Hey, what is up guys? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you the top 20 City at Weeks compatible with iOS 8.4. The first tweak for this video is called Apex 2. This tweak allows you to organize your apps based on related apps. Now you can see if I swipe here on the SoundCloud icon, it shows me these buttons and I can add the music apps here, also the Shazam app. I can add all the related apps on this icon. Now if I swipe here, it will show me the related apps, all the music apps right here. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have configuration. Here you can change the visual indicators. You can change the way you access your sub apps. And also you can disable the spotlight search. And also you can choose to close an app launch, aggregate badge count, and also allow creation of new. Next up is Badge Customizer. This tweak allows you to customize the badges on your iOS 8.4 device. You can see the badge right here and you can do all these customization by going to the settings. You have an enable button right here. Then here you can choose the color and lower here you can set the badge size. Then here you can change the badge position. Then here you have a respring button. You need to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. Next up is Barrel. Barrel is one of the most known city tweaks this tweak gives you these cool animations when you swipe through your pages on your home screen and you can change these animations by going to your settings, go to barrel and here you have mode. You can choose different modes here. You have a lot of effects you can choose from and if you want to disable it, you just choose here normal, no effects. Next up is Springtomize 3. Springtomize 3 allows you to customize pretty much anything on your device. As you can see here, this layout you can do all this simply by using Springtomize 3. Now when you install Springtomize, you will get an icon on your springboard. You open it up, here you have an enable button, then here you have all the sections that you can customize on your device. Then up here you have a respring button, you respring your device for all the changes to take effect. Now you can find a more detailed review of Springtomize in the description of this video. Next up is CC Loader. This tweak allows you to enable or disable any of the sections of the control center. You can also rearrange them any way you want. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, here you have all the sections that you have enabled. Here you have the disabled ones. And here you can choose to use dynamic media controls, which means that it will show the media controls only when you're playing music. You can also rearrange all the sections simply by moving them around like this. Next up is a tweak called Close All. This tweak allows you to close all the tabs on Safari simply by tapping the X button of one of them, hold it and then it will ask you if you want to close all the tabs and now you can see it will close all the tabs with just one click. The next tweak is called Side Delete 8. This tweak allows you to delete the apps that you installed from Cydia directly from your home screen without needing to go to Cydia. You can see it will show the X button and you can delete it just like a normal app from the App Store. Next up is Grid Switcher. This tweak will change the normal layout of your app switcher to a 2x2, 3x3 or a 4x4 grid layout. As you can see it right here, it looks really cool. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button. Then here you can change the layout. Lower here you can choose if you want to show icons, you can scale the icons, enable a drop shadow and then lower here you can also disable the labels of the icons, just disable the switch right here and you won't have labels on the icons on your app switcher. Next up is iFile. iFile allows you to have access to the file system of your device. As you can see right here when you open iFile, you can go ahead and explore all the files on your device. Next up is CC settings. This tweak allows you to customize the toggles of your control center. Now to do that you need to go to your settings, go to CC settings and then here you have toggles per line. You can choose how many you want to see. Then lower here you can enable dismiss control center and kill music when you use the toggle to kill all the background running apps. And then you have whitelist here if you want to exclude any of your apps. Lower right here you have all the toggles, you can rearrange them disable them or enable them right here. Next up is Preference Organizer 2. This tweak will organize your settings app into four sections. You have here Apple apps, social apps, tweaks, and then you have the App Store apps. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable or disable 
any of these sections, you can also rename them and then here you have a button to apply all the changes. Next up is Repower. This tweak will add some more options to the power down menu of your iOS 8.4 device. Now you won't have just the slide to power off, but you will also have the slide to reboot and slide to respring. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, all you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable this tweak. The next tweak is a simple one, it's called Hood Dismiss. What this tweak does is that it allows you to dismiss the volume hood of your device simply by tapping on it. All you have to do is just tap on it and it will dismiss it. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Next up is a tweak called Showcase. This tweak will show all the keys on your keyboard on lowercase and when you tap the shift key it will turn them on uppercase. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. The next tweak is called No Slow Animations. This tweak allows you to change the speed of the animations on your iOS 8.4 device. You can see when I open a folder or an app, the speed of the animation is much faster and if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button, then here you have this slider where you can change the speed of the animations. The next tweak is called Same Status. This tweak will keep the size of the status bar the same on your home screen and also on your lock screen. Now normally on your lock screen the status bar is a little bit zoomed in, it's much bigger than the normal status bar on your home screen. But this tweak will keep the size of the status bar the same on your lock screen and on your home screen. Next up is iWidgets. This tweak allows you to add widgets to your home screen. All you have to do is just tap anywhere on your home screen and choose a widget that you want to add, click add right here and now you can position this widget anywhere you want on your home screen. You can download more widgets from Cydia, just search for iWidgets. The next tweak for this video it's called clear folders. What this tweak does is that it will completely remove the background of the folder and now you will have just a clean looking folder. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Next up is better 5 icon dock. This tweak allows you to add 5 icons to the dock of your device. Now normally you will have just 4 but this tweak allows you to add one more and to download it you will need to add a repo which I will put in the description. And the last tweak for this video it's called photo info. This tweak will add this info button to the pictures on your device, you can tap on it and now it will show you detailed information about that picture. So these are the top 20 Cydia tweaks compatible with iOS 8.4, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, also go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you will find a link to our Twitter account in the description of this video.